stop taking vitamin D by itself in winter. Now, let's talk about a hormone everyone thinks they understand, but almost everyone uses incorrectly in winter. It's vitamin D. You probably already know that vitamin D levels drop in winter because we are not getting sunlight on our skin. You might even be taking a supplement, but there is something almost no one tells you. Vitamin D is not just a vitamin, it's functioning more like a hormone. And it does not work properly if you take it in isolation. Stop taking vitamin D by itself in winter. It can actually make you feel more tired and anxious if you don't support it with magnesium and vitamin K2. When you take vitamin D3, your body has to convert it into its active form. That conversation process uses magnesium as a cofactor or help. If your magnesium levels are already low, which is extremely common, taking high doses of vitamin D can drain your magnesium reserves even more. Low magnesium causes muscle tension, anxiety and poor sleep. So people start vitamin D to feel better but end up feeling tired but wired. At the same time, vitamin D needs vitamin K2 to guide calcium into the right direction, into your bones, not your arteries. So, if you and your doctor decide a vitamin D supplementation is right for you, talk to them about this stack. Vitamin D3 plus vitamin K2 plus magnesium. Your winter fatigue is not just about light. It's about hormones and minerals. Vitamin D helps regulate over 200 genes related to your immune system and mood. But it can only do that if the other nutrients are in place. So instead of thinking, I will just take a pill, think, I need to support the whole system. Light, vitamin D3, K2, magnesium and good fats.